Welcome everyone to University of Guelph's Innovation of the Year Award, the 2020 edition. You know, we've been innovating here at University of Guelph, creating phenomenal innovations for almost 150 years now, spanning right back to our founding colleges. In 2016, we decided to more formally recognize fantastic innovations on a yearly basis. Innovations where our researchers have converted fundamental discoveries to real world impactful applications. This year, we're delighted to have two Innovation of the Year awards. I have the innovator of one of those innovations with me right here. That's John Lindsay. Welcome, John. Thank you, Malcolm. It's truly a great honor to be here with you today. It's wonderful to have an opportunity to chat uh, with you about your innovation. John, your innovation is White Box Tools. Tell, tell us a little bit about how it came into being. So uh, I guess I have been developing um, uh, GIS software, which is really what White Box is, uh, for about 20 years now, really since I started my PhD. Uh, the project is um, really my most recent effort in developing GIS software. And it served really as my platform for experimenting with the types of novel spatial analysis algorithms that we use in my research lab. Software that we develop in our research lab is really the means by which we can get um, uh, the, the products of our research out into the hands of GIS practitioners. And that's one of the reasons why it's always been incredibly important to me that white box tools be open source and accessible to the community of, of users that I have. Fantastic. John, uh, tell us a little bit about what GIS is. Obviously, white box tools is meant to be serving GIS practitioners. What does a GIS practitioner do? What is GIS? Uh, a GIS is essentially a software package that's used to store and visualize spatial data. But probably the most important component of a GIS is its ability to analyze those spatial data in order to provide uh, answers to spatial problems, to, to sort of uh, large scale spatial problems that society grapples with. Uh, GIS is really widely applied in all sorts of fields, uh, for example, criminology and epidemiology. It's used in precision agriculture to guide farmers with respect to the application rates that they apply to their fields. And it's uh, applied by entire governments to model regional uh, scale crop production, uh, to provide forecasts for crop production. GIS is used to help uh, model flood risk and it's used for things like modeling uh, pollutant uh, transport in watersheds. The common thread really that, that joins all of these wide um, uh, range of, of applications is that they all rely on extracting information from spatial data. That's fantastic, John. So in some ways, you've got a perfect storm of conditions, if you will, uh, for a community to take on a, uh, an application like white box tools. That said, were you surprised with the extent of uptake that you've had? It's literally hundreds of people that have adopted white box tools. It didn't come as a great surprise to me that there would be a large community around the world that would uh, center around white box and, and its use. But what has really surprised me and truly continues to surprise me at this point are all of the stories that I frequently hear from white box users about the interesting and particularly shocking ways for me in which they apply the, the, the software. Um, so recently, I've been able to take on a collaboration with my wife, Sally Lindsay, who is a disabilities researcher in, in Toronto, uh, at a hospital in Toronto. Um, we've received funding from the province of Ontario, uh, in which we're using the capabilities of white box tools to map sidewalk encroachment. For people with disabilities, sidewalk encroachment poses a, a very significant obstacle and reduces the accessibility of these sidewalk uh, corridor spaces. Uh, this is work that I never would have imagined that I would have been able to do before, and White Box Tools has effectively provided the um, a catalyst for me being able to, to carry out types of, of, of work in, in this area. That's absolutely amazing, John. I, I, I love the arc that you've described today, the 20-year trajectory to getting to the point that you've got to, mm -hmm. the ingredients for success that have helped you uh, enjoy uh, such a, a remarkable success uh, with, with uh, White Box. Uh, and now the, the direction that you see taking things in the future, 
uh, with the sort of supports that we have at University of Guelph uh, through Accelerator Guelph. It remains for me just to say congratulations on this fantastic achievement. I'm truly humbled by, by the experience of being honored with this award. Uh, when I think about all of the uh, amazing research that's taking place on campus and uh, the fact that White Box and, and the work that I've been doing over the last 20 years is being recognized uh, among all of these people doing fantastic work, it's truly humbling for me. And, um, uh, you know, I, I'm sure that there are many people out there who are just as deserving as I am to receive this award in all honesty. Mm -hmm.